morning my dear students today i am going to talk about our second lecture in last lecture we discuss about the ipm its definition some introduction uh, of ipm and different principles of ipm advantages and disadvantages and today our second lectures we are going to talk about the ipm tools so dear student here the ipm uh, why it's uh, important because what may be the farmer's field is a complex environment why because there the open field condition not only one single factor they were affect there the many factors that play a important role and in what is happening in the field because on field uh, where the crops that rising so there the all abiotic factors and biotic factors that influencing on the pest management even some other uh, organism also where that uh, present so that is that's where the field is a complex environment often it is not possible to give uh, only the general uh, recommendation because uh, a lot of management practices the that to control the pest may that the baby may be may have both a positive and a negative side so these are the all importance so that's with by the uh, combining the appropriate methods and then they can develop their own system of integrated pest management so what may be the different types of like uh, uh, management practices available why to minimize the uh, pest uh, population that's way so the many experiment that uh, already that to uh, conducted and among this all the any one methods or any methods can develop their own system and finally the to control the pest manage pest so here uh, today i am going to talk about this our main topic that uh, tools or components of integrated pest management here suppose in case in final examination if the question uh, that ask tools or components same information in case of uh, the methods uh, right uh, give the enlist the different methods of ipm so same here here in ipm <coughs> there are two major methods Uh, natural control and artificial control in natural control that uh, where this uh, uh, non living and living organism where that to affect uh, on pest management program or to affect the pest population like uh, abiotic factors and biotic factors abiotic means uh, non living factors and biotic means living factor abiotic factors also called as the density independent factor and where this climatic factors were affect like a uh, temperature humidity uh, rainfall moisture air some sunlight this all factors that very helpful or uh, important uh, to affect or to minimize the pest population in case of the topographical factors where comes uh, the mountains uh, soil properties ocean and uh, desert so these are all these factors or all these elements comes under in natural control and in case of this artificial control or uh, commonly called as a uh, applied control or also known as this tools of ipm here sequentially the traditional uh, farming where that uh, include like uh, cultural control or cultural practices mechanical control physical control biological control where that uh, all types of uh, biogens were working to minimizing the pest population a legal control and the chemical control where the insecticide that included and the last lastly where that uh, what may be the different types of techniques or uh, new techniques generally that uh, comes and to use in the pest management that is commonly known as a recent trends in pest control and here in recent in pest control this all like uh, ionizing or radiation 
that means the where that is a gamma radiation where that uh, uh, when release uh, and to affect or to uh, control the pest like uh, known as a commonly known as a male sterile technique and uh, followed by chemo sterilants some chemical available when spread and where this all types of like male and uh, female insect that are affected by this type of the uh, method uh, then pheromones it is also the one behavioral control method that where the use of uh, some attractant and then this type of the attractant when used after that uh, this all male attracted towards that known as the pheromones so genetic manipulation that is called as the genetic control um, followed by insect attractant or repellent so dear student these are the all important methods of uh, uh, ipm so here that uh, the importance methods or tools or components here uh, on my slide so dear student this cultural mechanical to last recent trends in pest control this classification or this method is very important important so now today we are going to talk about only the cultural methods and uh, its uh, use and its uh, different practices of cultural control so firstly the cultural controls there are the total eight practices or more practices that comes and to use uh, for a pest management point of view or it is not only that pest management point, point of view here uh, that to minimizing the pest or what may be the its uh, stages that present inside the soil or in field we have to uh, we have to that affect its biology or its life cycle that's why in future that uh, the pest will uh, less in number or less occur that's point of view this cultural method is very important here that uh, many practices were included crop rotation crop refuse destruction commonly called as the sanitation field sanitation uh, followed by tillage of soil harvesting uh, and uh, variation in time of planting uh, pruning or thinning intercropping uh, then again uh, trap crop and lastly use of resistant varieties so these are the all practices that comes under in cultural control so firstly so we'll uh, go through this definition of uh, uh, cultural control Cultural control it is nothing but uh, it is defined as a manipulation of cultural practices to the disadvantages of pest. Meaning about this cultural control means so cultural control where this all types of regular farm practices or uh, what may be the operation uh, carried or that implementing in field so to destroy the insects or prevent them from causing injury so where this cultural control called so in cultivation practices it is uh, employed in a manner that makes the environment less suitable for growth and reproduction of the insect so what may be the insect main present we have to create environment that in future that uh, to uh, less suitable and Finally, when its life cycle completing or growth occur or development occur, we have to seize them. We have to disturb them. And what happened in future? Its reproduction is totally disturbed, and the whole population when disturbed or that uh, affect. So finally, we got uh, the result, or we uh, we get the result, and to control the pest population, called as a cultural control. Here the uh, sequentially that uh, already previous uh, we discuss about which are these practices comes. So firstly, crop rotation. So crop rotation it is why it is important. It's uh, it will break the continuous supply of food to major pest of that uh, crop. Suppose in case in previous previous years, same crop there uh, like uh, cotton, and then again will next year will. Uh, sown same crop so what happened what may be the hidden stages present inside this soil or in field so uh, that uh, regular or continuous supply of food to that uh, major pest 
so there is the population never that uh, uh, decreasing day by day year by year that to increase its population so for that purpose we have to break this type of this continuous supply of food so finally what so growing of non host crop suppose in last year the cotton then alternate or next year we have to alternate on called as a non host crop when grow growing so the reduces the pest attack on that uh, current crop so called as a crop rotation that means the suppose in simple way suppose a crop a crop followed by cotton increases the pest attack so we have to what that suppose in case the last year okra then last year the cotton we have to grow in the next year that cereal next year we have to use that to pulses suppose cotton the next year soybean suppose in case in same field condition that to sugar cane only so we have to grow in this next year say suppose in current year we grow in the sugar cane after one year we have to grow in that non host crop or non uh, alternate crop that like uh, suppose maize like uh, vegetables or other crops you have to grow in it so what in future that to be minimize the pest population or to break the supply of food so this is the crop rotation practices then they followed by uh, second uh, cultural control practices is a crop refuge refuse or destruction or uh, destruction uh, or the sanitation in uh, sanitation of field so the meaning about this uh, practice is the removal and destruction of all undesirable plants or some different plant debris uh, weeds and clean cultivation so it is also called uh, sanitation so what may be the in field uh, the previous crop harvested when previous crop harvested so what may be the, the it's uh, some uh, debris or some like uh, stubbles when present we have to properly clean it we have to collect it and burn it or throughout the outside the field so what the insect use this type of the plant residue generally what this type of the residue or plant debris or undesirable plants generally used by the pest or insect and that survive on that and finally when the our crop when grown or that to present so then attack on that our crop plant so for that purpose we have to uh, remove it this type of the alternate weed host and uh, some plant residue stubbles and what may be the increase the pest attack in next season we have to minimize them for example we have to uh, here i am going to that uh, given some um, uh, some example like uh, suppose uh, uh, in field that uh, known as uh, crop sugar cane borer sugar sugar cane borer and then uh, uh, jawar jawar stem borer these are the some example of uh, that uh, Uh, there are the chances to hidden inside the stubbles, and then next one, uh, tillage uh, operation. Tillage operation. It is nothing but where that uh, all types of uh, cultivation practices when that use called as a tillage operation. Where that generally the implement uh, like uh, plowing operation were carried out or implement uh, or other tillage operation that uh, this is helpful to expose the insect to upper soil surface. and prevent them from causing injury it means uh, 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 the ins- what may be the insect or uh, hidden inside the soil uh, under si- under surface so what after this plowing operation will done so this all insects that uh, comes on or expose on the soil surface and finally what the other vertebrates animal that uh, attract towards like uh, uh, birds and the birds are that easily picked up and devoured by that uh, pest so for example the bihar hairy caterpillar bihar hairy caterpillar so this all types bihar hairy caterpillar this is one example that uh, present inside the soil so there is a chances to 
fruit fly then again uh, some different gram pod borer uh, like this type of the pest or uh, insects it's a uh, hidden stages that uh, present under surface of the soil like pupa some eggs also uh, even grasshopper eggs also that uh, present so after the flowing operation well uh, done so this type of the all stages that uh, exposed to the sun rays and finally or other uh, other organism that deod or that to kill so this is very important okay now these are the some picture i am showing you so here the first picture that you can see in that is a tillage operation where that uh, man uh, that uh, starting the uh, tillage operation and here the some lady some some workers or some labor here that working about to collect uh, uh, and to uh, some stubbles here or that removal of uh, unwanted plant or the undesirable plant here that uh, crop rotation crop rotation that uh, means what uh, here uh, like uh, alternate uh, crop we have to grow that is called as the crop rotation already in uh, previous slide we discuss here that the uh, first picture that where that uh, potato crop we are growing uh, and then followed by its maize followed by here that is broccoli or uh, cabbage they are growing so what so this type of the practices when that uh, done by this uh, uh, farmer so we can easily that uh, minimize the pest population now the next one so uh, the time of uh, sowing or uh, planting practices here we have to use uh, this uh, method vibe or practice we have to adjust the time that is called the adjust adjusting the time of sowing uh, the some infection of some pest can be prevented for example the if the eggs laying period of uh, a pest is uh, suppose in uh, the month of uh, july or august for example they will example will take the uh, shoot fly suppose the shoot fly that uh, suppose any month that required to egg laying and suppose we uh, change the uh, sowing time so what happened so this the egg the shoot fly never that to lay the eggs on that uh, particular field because so there is the absence of uh, host and we, if we plant uh, uh, the early planting in the month of like uh, uh, last month of uh, 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 sorry uh, last week of uh, june or the first week of uh, july so we can uh, escape its uh, stage where that to lay the eggs and finally what the our uh, crop that uh, uh, easily escape from that uh, susceptible stage and growing fastly and to our crop that to, to uh, avoid the, uh, the infection okay so this is type of the time of sowing here is simple way when this the uh, young plant can be established before the attack start okay so that means to early sowing of kharif jawar to escape from attack of jawar shoot fly so that is called as the uh, time of sowing or planting method now the followed by the use of resistant varieties so dear students some different varieties are available in the market so that's uh, commonly known as a uh, some different susceptible varieties also and some resistant varieties also on the basis of you have to uh, pick up the or uh, choose this correct uh, or uh, resistant variety that where the presence of some morphological character or some genetic factors morphological character means what some variety where that presence of trichomes trichomes here i am writing here the trichomes or hairs meaning about the morphological character hairiness or trichomes this type of the vein that uh, present so it means that have the some external barrier or external factor that to uh, reduce the pest population and the insect uh, the our uh, crop will that to grow fastly and to minimize the pest attack and genetic uh, uh, genetic factors means some biochemical factors were affected or associated 
to make the variety resistance from uh, some pest for example desi cotton is more resistant because of there is the presence of here uh, example desi cotton uh, because of variety is desi cotton because of there is the presence of the lot of hairiness and this type of the hairiness to uh, minimize the jasid white fly population even some bollworms affect and uh, then american cotton so because why the presence of morphological and genetic character so the now the followed by the last practices is a trap cropping this trap crops is nothing but we have to grow as a alternate uh, different crops with the main crop so called as a trap cropping those crop which are used to control the uh, pest and this uh, crop plants are harvested early or used as a fodder okra is a good trap crop uh, for cotton why uh, because uh, too many uh, pest that attracted towards the crop okra and in uh, cotton also and if we grow in this uh, trap crop both the uh in same season so what this what may be the pest attracted towards the cotton same that attracted towards the crop uh, bhindi or okra and we can minimize the pest attack we can uh, use like uh, for example some uh, jasids or spotted bollworm here example of this trap cropping that pest that to attract jasid is a sucking pest and the bollworm bollworm where that is used uh, that uh, pest that attacks towards so we can you uh, we can minimize the pest of this two so <coughs> now other methods also that uh, comes under in cultural methods so here this management of like uh, seed rate Uh, pruning practices clipping practices that clipping practices where that uh, use in case of the rice uh, field where that the rice tips we can uh, clip at the time of the transplanting and what may be the eggs laid on uh, uh, rice tip of uh, seedling so of the stem borer where that uh, easily we can manage them here the eliminate egg masses of uh, like uh, use sorry here eliminate the egg masses of stem borer by clipping of rice tips this is one practices that comes under in cultural methods even the flooding of rice in nursery to eliminate the army worm this flooding practices also these are the some important some uh, cultural methods were included and to use in the cultural practices so dear student here that uh, some in uh, other methods also intercropping here we can see on picture here that uh, uh, growing up uh, uh, like uh, some vegetable green vegetable even like uh, here the onion sip then again here the cabbage okay and here the different again crop so we can that uh, intercrop so we can suppose in case any one crop that to damage by the pest we can uh, we can get easily the uh, income from another one so that that called as a intercropping here that already previous uh, discuss about this uh, trap crop this uh, trap crop uh, uh, that uh, growing up here that uh, broccoli followed by here the mustard and what may be the pest attack towards that uh, broccoli is all pest attract uh, to, towards that uh, mustard and we can save our uh, the main field here that uh, last picture that resistant varieties here the resistant variety we can see this is one the resistant varieties and this is one the susceptible varieties if we compare with this two so we can see here this more uh, growth or some outgrowth by this uh, resistant variety we can see here so that that uh, generally um, that uh, resistant because why some pest attract towards uh, attacks on this uh, susceptible and, and after suppose this uh, pest attack uh, 
uh, on resistor this resistor variety that uh, to again reproduce these most uh, more uh, branches and to minimize the pest okay so these are the all practices comes under in this uh, uh, cultural control so dear student this is all these our uh, first tool of ipm remaining tools will discuss about to next lecture so try to learn and uh, uh, listen carefully and uh, to do assignment this uh, topic thank you